This is Twit. Before we head to the Mac, I do want to start with just the iPhone. Uh, so let me switch over here. So you can back up the iPhone without a Mac? Yes. Without but a there's computer? A, there's a caveat. So so let's let's talk about the different kind of backups because the backup that Leo is sort of hinting at here hint, hint. is a more all-encompassing backup, but we're going to start with an iCloud backup. Okay. Uh, so first things first, you want to connect your device to a Wi-Fi network. Once you do that, you launch the settings app and tap on your name, and then you tap iCloud, and then you tap iCloud backup. So we will scroll down until we get to iCloud backup there, tap on that, and then you tap backup now. What's important to note is that if you have iCloud backup turned on, it is automatically backing up your device every single time uh, you plug in and you, your, your iPhone has to be connected to power, it needs to be locked, and it's on Wi-Fi. If all of those things are true and you have iCloud backup turned on, your phone is automatically backing up. So, for example, you can see that it says here that my phone backed up this morning at 8.01 a.m., but... If I want to, I can go ahead and tap that backup now button and it will back that up. Now, this is what's important and this is kind of what Leo is hinting at is that when you back up with iCloud, you are not backing up your entire device. <laughs> Anything you care about. <laughs> Everything you want is not quite being backed up. Instead, it is backing up kind of a... A, a structure uh, of your, an outline of your device. Uh, the the apps and app settings and things like that, those are going to be downloaded after the backup is restored because essentially that iCloud backup just says this person had these apps on their phones. Isn't that and true though so, for a regular iPhone backup or no? Does it also back up the apps? That so on a hard this drive? is where this is where it, it gets a little bit different because it depends on what kind of backup you uh, do on your Mac. Okay. So there are two kinds of backups that you can do on your Mac. There's one that's encrypted or there's one that is not encrypted. If you want to save health and activity data from your device, you have to do an encrypted backup. Pass if passwords save, too and things like Wi-Fi passwords too. You, you really want to do that. The encrypted local I, backup, I think. And here's the problem that, that I've run into is that most of the modern, because uh, I've always had like MacBook Pros and uh, more portable machines. And most of those modern machines are using solid state drives, which are more expensive uh, depending on you know the storage space that you have. So I've only got 500 gigabytes of storage space on my solid state drive. And if I try to back up my iPhone, let's just go to- you fill it up? Uh, yeah, I don't. I quite literally do not have room on my uh, on my uh, excuse me on my Mac for the 512. There's literally more storage in my iPhone than there is in my MacBook Pro. But in all likelihood, uh, you don't have that much storage in iCloud either. So that really underscores the fact that the iCloud backup, in order to be fast, doesn't back up everything. Backs up exactly. kind of as little as possible. Because remember, you only get five gigabytes free in the iCloud, and you have to pay for the rest. So I think Apple wants you to use iCloud because they make more money. I prefer almost always it's faster and it's more complete to use the computer to do the backup. Yeah, and can you actually, let's go back to that screen that you were showing. Yeah. Because uh, I just want to walk through that process. So you plug in your phone. If you've got a Mac, you open up Finder. You find your phone in the left side. Uh, you click on it. And then underneath the General tab, you will see an option for Backups. And you can choose backup your most important data on your iPhone to iCloud. So that's just telling it to do the iCloud backup. But what you want to do is back up all of the data on your iPhone to this Mac. If you have enough storage, I really strongly suggest this. Mm -hmm. It's when we, for instance, when you get a new phone, this is the first thing I do. Now, I have to point out, you've actually cured me of this habit. And I'll show, we'll show you another way to do this in a second. But then I'm just going to say backup now. Mm -hmm. And it's going to start backing up. And uh, you'll see the progress somewhere. You still on iTunes. You used to see it right there. And um, it'll also show up on your phone itself. You'll see a little wheel, uh, little if I remember wheel. correctly, sort of uh, spinning around wheel on your on phone. The phone keeps on turning. Oh, and, oh, I don't see a wheel songs. on my phone. Um, I don't know where you're talking. Which wheel you're talking about, bro? Swipe brother. down from the top right. You see a wheel on your phone? There. You see it in the top. Right in the oh, middle. Oh, that little teeny weeny wheel. 
The little teeny weeny sinking wheel. There's a little weeny teeny wheel that's showing that we're doing the backup. It used to show that on the computer. It doesn't do that. Yeah, I don't know why it's not doing that. Well, because it's a finder instead of uh, I. <laughs> that must be it. I think so. Um, it's doing the backup right now. Uh, and it, it, this can take, you know, five, ten minutes, but that's still a lot faster, isn't it, than the uh, backup on uh, on a, 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 iCloud, right? Yeah. I mean, well, downloading that backup, um, it, it, uploading uploading the backup is not as long as you've continued to backup. Con because it's incremental. It's continuous. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. It just kind of says this is what's changed. Uh, but if it is your first time backing up, that is going to take a while. And depending on your Wi-Fi speeds that or your internet speeds, that may also take a while. Uh, so now, as I here's mentioned, another question. As long as we're talking about this, I've had this yes. problem. You want to make sure that your iOS versions kind of match, right? You might want to update if there's an update available. You might want to update iOS on your phone before you back it. Sometimes restoring from an older version of iOS can be problematic. That is a good point. So once you've kind of gone into the future, it can be harder to, to restore to from past. an older update. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes. Once you go to the future, you can't go back to the past. Um, so I would update that, first, and that is a button that, that is on here if you haven't updated. On the other hand, we're talking about doing this before mm -hmm. you go to the next version of iOS. So in this case, it's probably better not to so another <laughs> this is confusing but in the normal case of event you'd want to check for updates in this particular use case where we're backing up before a big update do not update because it's the problem right. is you're worried that the big update might be problematic and here's another thing if it's an iCloud backup it's more likely to be able to uh, let you restore your phone even on a new version of iOS versus a fully encrypted backup because it's the difference between taking a whole it's kind of like stripping your phone of what's this. on it and then oh because not same, enough free space same is problem you have which is it yep. takes up a lot of space so because what it does is essentially it's taking everything on your device all the music you have downloaded all the photos anything Storing that's on all. that device okay. it's collapsing it down and it's making it a package so what do we do if we have this issue hold on a sec. well before we do that let me just show you oh that's good these yeah. backups these are previous backups so when you press manage backups and oh my god i have a backup of the ipad <laughs> mini from 2018. from 2018, we can delete that now. And my iPhone 10 from 2018, we can delete that now. So that's a one way out to something get here. that space back. Yeah. Uh, the little lock icon, just for folks, that's an indicator that it is an encrypted it's backup. Crypto. If you don't see the yeah. lock icon, then it's not encrypted. If yeah. you do, then it is an encrypted and backup. And notice when you hover over it, you can see a lot more information, including which phone it is. So um, that's useful sometimes if, if you go, well, it says Leo's iPhone 10, but which of Leo's iPhone 10s is it or that kind of thing? And so, the software uh, is currently soft, on iOS. That was iOS 12.1. So it's in the process of deleting. I bet you after these are deleted, I'll have plenty of space. That's another thing. If you're running out of space in your Mac, you might want to check if you've got a bunch of old uh, backups hanging around and delete those as well.